Hey, you know me, it's Lee Fuller, and I'm just saying, I did another vlog on criticism and praise and not being controlled by it. Well, this could be considered a part two, and it is. Can you take a compliment? Um, the reason why I share this, I've gotten inbox messages, I've gotten text messages, and I've actually gotten phone calls from people who feel that, well, if I get a compliment, it's not all me. It's God. God does all the work. And you've heard people say that sort of thing. Oh, it's not me. You could tell them, hey, I really enjoyed your singing, or I really enjoyed what you just said today, or, you know, I read something that you wrote, or that's a really nice house. Oh, it's not me. It's God. Okay. Here's the thing. This is not a religious discussion by any stretch of the imagination, but stay with me here. If I'm talking to an individual and I'm basically working from the premise that there is something greater than we are that may have given us a measure of ability, I also recognize the difference between talent and skill. Skill is developed over years and times and hours of work. I understand if I have a beautiful farm, it may come in its natural state. It will require me to put forth some work if I want it to look presentable, meaning if I want the land to be tilled properly, if I want the buildings to be painted. They have to be done with some form of human effort that comes as a result of a decision being made to use the ability that you were given in the first place. So when the compliment comes, it's not denying the existence of a greater power. It's merely acknowledging the willingness of the person with that power to use their talents and abilities. So a simple thank you will do. Here's why a simple thank you will probably have to do. Because I've found in many situations when I've talked to individuals who immediately say, oh, I give God all the credit, it only happens when it's a compliment. But when these people are sometimes being critical or when they're being negative or when these people are doing things that don't really work out that well, I never really hear them say, oh, I give God all the credit for me messing up my credit. Or I give God all the glory for me you know, getting into that accident that I got into because I wasn't paying attention because I was texting while I was driving. It only comes when something complimentary is said. Here's my thought. If you want to give credit at all times to a higher power, that is your choice. But understand that when you're talking to another individual, they're simply just acknowledging something that they thought was pretty nice. So a simple thank you will probably do. Now, I only wanted to share that because as we go forward, we have to probably do so with some sense of balance. And that's what I, I work towards every day and I try to share with others. In our lives, there should be balance. There are times that things work out. There are times that things don't work out. What you believe is what you believe, and that is your individual choice. But the effort that we put in with what we've been given by the universe, by our creator, by God, by your master, by whatever name you choose to give your creator or your maker, that's between you and your maker. What we see in the universe is a manifestation of that in one shape or form. So if you're good at what you do, because we don't know necessarily what you believe specifically, and we're talking directly to you, we'll just say, good job. Two words, thank you. That's all I have for now. I just had to add that in. So be willing to take a compliment. Stay hydrated. And don't trip unless you fall forward. You know me.